The Milton Conservative Association held their annual general meeting back on April 10th. Now, normally these AGMs wouldn't cause too much controversy or be surprising, but that wasn't the case this time, as many of the long-standing directors were voted out, including former Milton MP Lisa Raitt. This caused many other members to resign in protest four days later. To get more clarity on this, I spoke with the former president of the association, Richard Lewis, this morning. Morning. Have a look. So we had 10 well-versed, well-practiced volunteers that were willing to re-stand for the board. Included in that slate was the Honorable Lisa Raitt. But it wasn't only Lisa. It was the balance of the board that over many, many years had contributed so faithfully and diligently to Milton and our board. The notice went out and 48 hours before, we found that there were nominations from the floor. They had to be in 48 hours before because of the virtual meeting rules. There were 13 people that had been nominated for the position. So we contacted Nadim and said, is there any way that we can maneuver to get some of your people on? Because we quite understand you want some of the people on. And the reply was no. So we had the AGM, 200 signed up for the AGM, but there were actually 120 at the AGM because some people were gathered around one camera, which is quite acceptable. We then, it then went to a vote, online vote. The new board then came back with the results and all 10 of our board, except for one, had been uh, basically voted out and the new board put in place. There seems to be a bit of controversy over it because uh, through social media, uh, some members of the party um, are not happy with this. So I, I just wanted to ask, I mean, isn't our the new candidate well within his right and their right to oh, yes. have a new team? Absolutely, not, not, not arguing about that. It was just why was it seen when we were prepared to climb in and assist. And as I had said right at the beginning, we are pleased that I had made the statement, we are pleased. And that was after the candidate nomination meeting where he was voted in. I made a statement and I believed in that statement. We are pleased with the nomination process has concluded. And we now have a candidate in Nadim representing O'Toole's conservative team on the ballot here in Milton for the next election. And we were happy to get started. Now, bearing in mind, we had been looking for a Milton candidate and we knew Nadim was from outside Milton, but again, it's democracy at play. So we're not questioning the democracy. We don't want to hang on to the past, but we did feel, how could you turn around and actually take experienced Miltonians, drop them off the board, drop Lisa Raitt off the board with all that she had done for Milton, and now expect business as normal. So, you know, no malice of forethought. We just decided, take your new board and run the election. How are you going to... Um... How do you feel and how are you going to move forward from this? Well, I'm just taking, and I think a couple of the board are just taking a bit of respite and a breather to see how we feel and how this develops. Um, we, we believe Milton needs to be well represented in Ottawa. We've had Adam here for four years or not, sorry, less than four years in a minority government. And we believe so long as Milton is well represented, we will come back and see how we're going to assist going forward. We're still conservatives. We still believe in conservative principles. We certainly would like to see the Conservative Party back in power for the country. But we are just taking a bit of time out to assess the situation going forward. 
Now, I want to remind our viewers that Nadim Akbar was elected as the federal conservative candidate for Milton back in December. I did reach out to the Milton Conservative Association, but they haven't gotten back to me just yet. Also, former Milton MP Lisa Raitt was unavailable for an interview, but has gone on record to say that she wishes the association well.